Nice. Right, so firstly, I will say born in two hands. For various reasons that you guys know. So you're gonna cultivate the habit of being there, not here. Can you understand that? Now you get from this to there, right? We call it deceleration zone. So when I get there, you have to decelerate. My next zone is my small step zone. So now my foot is Now we're starting to move them around. 
keeping them up. Do you understand how all these things go together? It's difficult. Now, Julio, come in. I've tried to step, Julio. He recovered well. But I've got him here, tackling sideways. Now his shoulders open. Because he's closing up the fit. I can keep that shoulder open. If Julio comes with me, I can play around. I can play there. I can come into a late switch into that space. He can recover. The guy coming back to the switch. So he's vulnerable because of his defensive posture. Right. So now you can leave it there. Now you're going back to isolation. Because the next step is what? Hand off. Rene, now you're going back to isolation. Come. Now you can teach the player. If I'm, if I'm taking forward, can you hand me off? Your body will not recognize it. But, go there, thread the sound tackle. Now, how easy is that? His body is recognized, he can Yeah, too much pressure. Yeah, less pressure. Make him feel it. Make him feel it. Coach, you can move. Now, and this is all thing that you're putting through, sound tackle. Now, now you're asking, what is the strongest position that this arm can possibly in, biomechanically? If the coach's fingers are there and I'm coming in, see what happens to the elbow. The coach, look at the fingers, lift it up, extend the elbow. Now, no, extend, coach, extend. Just keep it strong, keep it strong. Yeah, yeah. No, you mustn't. Yes, strong, yes. Actually put him in it. You must feel the difference between this and this. Extend. Do you feel the difference? His body will recognize truth. Now, the other challenge that he has is rugby, ego. It's about strength. Because now if I if coach comes for a handoff. Julio, normally you will come towards me to get involved in a tug of war. Isn't that, is that, isn't that so? Instead of using my momentum. What am I saying, Toki? If I say use the defender's momentum. And that is? Uh, <laughs> mass, speed and mass. Uh, it's power. Yeah. I forgot that block. <laughs> push yourself away rather than... Yeah, push yourself push away. away. Right, so he needs to yeah. push himself away. Yeah. From me. Use your power. But the elbow must be extended, Coach. Don't bend the elbow. Extend. Extend. That's what you want to see. It's not a tug of war, it's not whether he, whether he's stronger than me or not. My mechanics, extend, put this up there, in there. We are trying to fully extend it, in there, how we want. Yeah. Yeah. Just feel it quickly, two, two, one on one. All I want to do is this, just have a go in terms of this. Quickly. Just there, get the coach, extend the elbow. And then do this. Extend up. Just get the feel of the strength of your body. Yeah, yeah, that's right here. Eat that hand. Extend the elbow. I've got a side motion. Just different positions. Extend. It's just a simple. Just this piece. Then makes a difference. We also teach the same for the line out. The lifters, they lift and they stay there. But if you teach them to yeah. put the elbows. Just the turn of the arms. Yeah. 
and make some good friends. Agree? Yep. So come, Renee, come to your question. Isolate the world. Isolate the world. Then you go back to the step. What's the importance of the key factors to get this actual step to be executed? Talk about distance. What's the positives and negatives of stepping um, too late? Positive of stepping early. What a great sudden tackle. What a, a front end tackle. Sudden tackle, you can use this momentum. Front end tackle, this momentum is moving forward. You will, you will win that battle. Right. Last thing, what's the, the next progression? A mental, in our mentality? Upload. Upload. Right. So, mm. coaching. So now you've created a sudden tackle. You can isolate the handoff by letting this guy come side on. Right. Forget about this step. You can keep it there. But let him come side on from the beginning. So now it's a bit of scenario coaching. Right. He's coming side on. Now what you want to do is make sure the handoff. Technical is right. Big shoulder must he zoom in on. Right. And then if he's grabbed in the contact where this ball is, this ball must be rolled up, right, in that bucket, this is rugby 101, rugby 101, how do we hold the ball, top part of the ball, rolling it up, there, strong, from there, all possible. From there, it's all possible. I can play. The ball is here, some guys, big hands, but in principle, some vulnerabilities around that area. But once again, if he's comfortable, good. But if he loses the ball, take it back to principle. Do your way, but if you lose three or four in the contact, just come back to the principle. I'm not telling what you do. But he's a principal. He's here, the ball is vulnerable. It's there. From there, you can be something more with it. You can play around. Right. You should pop that in. So roll up coaching. Thank you. So now you can bring the situation quickly. Once again, you must feel. Coaching you, try to push him to over the, the touch line. Listen to your body. What is that coach doing? He's going into an ego tussle. What's the principle of rugby? To move forward. Now give him the same result. Go! Move forward. Put stand still. What can I do? Simple principle. Is it difficult for you? Huh? You still got all your hair. You haven't put up a sweat. It's not that difficult. So now I want you to again, that's what I tell my players, now you move forward and you pull. Go. Pause. Is there any body, limbs that is affecting this channel? It's open for me. Get onto his hand. And in the whole process of that tussle, that ball must be. Principal Julio, if he's in control, then you release, release. If you're not in control, don't give me a while they're stopping you. Oh. <laughs> you understand? Take him back to the principal. Were you in control? No, coach. That's why it was a fuck up. So always take him back to the principal. Why did you create a, a front of tackle? What was a uh, step too late, coach? Principle. 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 Not, I want you to do this. He will get a feel. Right, now, ball. He didn't pull hard enough. He didn't pull hard enough. Wrap. Move over. This guy is in the way, yeah? No, no. He 
if I stood in the way of me and the supporter. Right. The channel is not clear, so don't force. You're not in control. Now you can tell me what's the next mentality, the next process in our mentality. Ground. Ground, coachy. Get two minutes of the ball on the ground. Now you can start looking. Isolate the pop. Me and you can work together. If I learn to fall, pop. Next guy, run. Pop. You can isolate the pop. Isolate the pop. Go back to your stepping process. Step, hand off, offload. So you're going to isolation part. Go back to bigger picture. Part, bigger picture. Because if he's comfortable with the two, you will be comfortable with the three. Understand that? Then, what's the next, the next process now in our mentality? Placement. Now if you see Coach Rene there, and this is why we lose the balls, Coach Rene, we don't have the comfortability and we don't trust our shoulders. We don't trust that our bodies can take the heat when we go to the ground. Now I'm using the ball. Oh, I'm using my hands to break the ball. I don't have the confidence to hit the deck like this. Oof. And then second movement. Great. So now you must actually put him in a position where he goes. And when he goes to the deck, he must be there. Both hands on the ball. Repetition of that skill. Repetition, four, then pop. You can isolate the whole world on light coach. Are you going to represent? Right, maybe you're playing that way. Right, now you can actually, you can isolate this world of presentation. Now you can tell him, pass, um, against your chest. Go against your chest. Now, you can work on just presentation and getting him used to using his body to move. So now I can tell you, place towards the light, place, work. Place towards the camera. Place towards me. Now he's getting used to working his core to where he needs to place that ball. It's a lot of, thank you coach. A lot of time players just comes in they lay like they've been abused. <laughs> They're just there. No working of the core. But now it's about working. Working. So now you can isolate the world by putting them in a simple drill. Understand that? Then you can go back to our process. Step. Hand off, offload, present, present. Up and down the coaching process. Up and down. Next one, coaching in. Place, we bring that way. Yes, place. Ground. Now we can go in. Today. What's my job? We have the last step at this presentation. What is this guy's job? Decision making is I take off the take out the threat or oh, is further away, I can just come in hooks and handles. Watch my body position, hooks and handles. So if I'm clean coming, my brother, I'm taking you because I know you're not what you're supposed to be <laughs> If he cleans me, I take I take him with me. Right. Now you in the first arrival one. So he's there, make sure you protect. If your feet is too far behind, can you carry your own weight? Leave your hands. Yeah, you're in trouble. So one foot before the other one. Yes, that's better. So now I'm coming in double banking, second arrival. I cannot be on these ass when the pressure comes, you will lift up. You don't have to over the ass. So if you come with this pressure, I can sustain it. I can stabilize it. <laughs> come on, baby. Understand that? Now I can isolate that ball that goes noticeable to you later on. But go down the ladder again, coaching process. Step. Handle, off, low, 
pop presents something to us. Make sense? Any questions? Uh, the world presentation. I mean, it's in a perfect scenario, like you were um, telling us how to present, uh, present the board, but normally it doesn't work like that. Uh, do you want the player to force that skill? Because from my own experience, I always land like on the side, like with the board, for example, like that, and I don't have any opportunity to go. Okay. I will always try to coach that perfect situation in terms of what I want to see. Principle. But if he's there and he can't, I'm going to have him for it. But this guy will be chasing him. So if there's no one holding you or you're in a position to move that body and get that second effort in, it's to our advantage at the end of the day. We can have a rock under two seconds. The ball be available for nine to play. The whole process, things about attacking flow, which is so much easier. That's a good idea. But we need to break the culture. Second effort. What does second effort mean? But I say second effort. What's your name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Is it ball presentation? I'm talking about second effort. What do I mean? To work with the ball on the ground. Second effort. Good point. So once again, it's a. It's a Activation word that Graham spoke about yesterday that's concerning our ball carrying. So on the ground, second effort. Ah, I know exactly. So you're creating a rugby language. If you say it, the player identifies it. So I said that the ruler said that can score the max. Yes. Because if you give them a second degree, if that doesn't work, then do that. If they put more comfortable that, then they will, they will lower their standard. They will come down. They will come down. So I must make sure I get enough repetition in different scenarios to challenge them to get that second position. If they can't, I understand. But let's try to chase that principle even if they have. Because there's a reflex concerning speed of the ball, attacking flow, etc. So you must put them there and then make sure that you get that. Make sense? Any other questions? Coach? Okay, yes. I, uh, yes, I'm very happy with it, as I said it. I think the, the most important for us is uh, that we always have space available just to keep it and to play the ball in the space behind the, to bring the, by, the ball behind the defender. But, uh, from my point of view, it's just one ideal moment, moment to manipulate and to fix the defender. If you step too early, you bring him in a good defensive position. If you step too late, then you he tackles you. So it's just one ideal moment when you can step. Principle. That's a principle. And uh, for, for each situation, in the game, this idea moment, moment is very difficult. So it's just a matter of yes. practicing and to find this idea moment. Because obviously when it comes to scenario training, ball, my, dad, my primary defender, coach, you there a bit wider. You there a bit wider. So if I talk about stepping early and the scenario we spoke, that we just spoke about now, there is a lot of space in between the defenders. If I sit now, boom, you can turn up, I will do this. Okay. Great overlaps. You know, my practice goes about step and attack the space. If I step now, and I just keep on moving the step here, he can be covered. You will shadow. The decision making becomes crazy wild because there's too much movement. But if I step, now I'm attacking space. The moment I attack space, the defenders must make a decision. If they don't attack space, they can stay off me. But the moment I step, I attack space, he can identify, all right, this guy's coming in, sir, sir, sir. Oh, he can say, 
This guy, he comes in, I'm the second spice, sell, sell, come, come. I just put it that spice. But I need to step in the tech space, and that's the end result of the codes. Principle of rugby, move forward. Don't step in the tech in thin air. People just stay off you. Tech space, they make the season supporter. Oh, late sweets. Oh, stay outside. Makes sense. Other scenario is, come closer. The guy goes to simulation. Isolation, combination, opposition, simulation. Main scenario. Alright, I don't have a lot of space. So now, I don't have a lot of linear space as well. So now the guy is in his 45, the 45 foot. How does this one do? Power step and range step about me. Touch on it completely. But now I will work blue. Not on the shoulder, elbow up. Just make sure I move just enough so I can move through the space. You get in this position. The moment you drop your, you drop your shoulder, you will lose your strong The more you work on the same foot, the same shoulder, work through. My chance is really good to win that battle. It makes sense. So now I don't have the luxury of defending there. I'm too close. I've wasted my space. I must make sure I at least fight with my elbow. Because if I have my elbow to work, you cannot come in. I can let you right back from the elbow. Move. move forward. But when I drop my shoulder, I drop it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of space. Give myself leverage. It can spin. Move forward. Different scenario, different skill set. It makes sense. Now you can start talking. Who's got the space? Wider. Play. Less skill set. Less space. Come in. I've used my Last thing, and I'm done. And I will show you some footage for 10 minutes just to show you that it's happening in world rugby currently. Not thumb sucking. If I walk through the space, if my mentality and I'm chasing it just to go down and present, you're never gonna hit that bounty sign again. I'm gonna teach my players to work through and actually dive, dive through the space. Yeah. And then second effort because if it's all about presentation what happens is players lose their hips they lose their power they just come they lay, they lay there but if you chase the mentality I want to lay straight in a second effort you get a different result you actually telling them so I'm working there and falling and now I'm presenting you will get a different Result. Our players, see me contact, it frustrates the hell out of me. Get the ball, contact. If you allow that enough times, you will get it under pressure in the game. Any questions that we can go in quickly and finish up? What do you think of the second effort here? Could you show it last? Um, it's better to put the ball in the left. That's fine. I'm not going to be lawful about that. Just get advantage line. You can be there. You can be there. I can give you both skills. You make a decision. How you supply the ball is irrelevant. What would you prefer? Prefer to way around to have an option more to pop the ball or? <laughs> it's, it's all about the scenario. <laughs> if the contact is this close, the chance of me popping from the ground is too many 
bodies. If I have a lot of space and I fall into open space in the back, and there's space to pop, you can execute the skill. It's all about where do I find myself. I've used this skill set because of this scenario, now I've created this. What's my next decision? I cannot be lawful about it. I need this there, I need this there. That's being lawful as a coach. Even the tools and the principles that guide him in terms of his decision making. That's all we can do. Right, with knowledge, I will add a bit of. I'll talk a bit about the close contact power position. Just bring another dimension in terms of which way your head must fall. We call it faster to create. We decide to go. Alright, any questions? It's going to be just 10 minutes all time.